Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 13th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning, fairly decent time frame, got the dogs outside, um, let them roughhouse and play, and it was just so exciting to see how well they're doing. Like, she is doing so much better. Um, Remy has been such a godsend for her, like literally been so good for her and they've been wrestling and playing and having such a great time. So it was a great thing. Got them out, um, got them back in, got them separated out, got them fed, all the good fun stuff that comes with it. Um, been kind of giving her open food kind of thing. We're keeping her food in my master bathroom and keeping Remy out of there. So anytime she goes in, I take her into the master bathroom, give her a little bit of time by herself to eat a little bit if she wants to, and then goes back out and plays with Remy again kind of thing. So worked out really well. I did jump in the hot tub for a few minutes. Um, got my nice little soak on there. And then from there, uh, wife goes off for work, just kind of hanging out for the morning, getting a few things here and there done. Um, letting them play. I was trying to get as much play out of them as I can because I knew Remy was going home shortly. So wanted to get that out as much as I could. So I went ahead and uh, basically got that figured out there, picking Remy up a little bit before noon. I came and got Remy and uh, happy to see Remy. Remy's happy to see them, the whole thing and stuff. Talked to the, um, the, the husband of the couple and talked about their trip and how it all went. It was their daughter's 21st birthday. So they went out kind of on a trip for her for her birthday. So had a good time. Um, told them about how good Remy was with the uh, Rottweiler and how well they did. All that good fun stuff. And chatted a little bit and whatnot. And then they headed out, had a meet and greet set up with an older couple that um, we're coming over for a Pomsky. It's a Husky Pomeranian mix thing. I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. So got there, um, went ahead in the process as they were kind of running behind the time frame and stuff. So I went ahead and had the Rottweiler out back because normally I do the meet and greets in the house. Normally I have Bruce to help me pick my, to determine how the dog's gonna react around other dogs and stuff. And he's not here to do it. So it makes it for much more awkward um, presentation. And I had thought, I put the Rottweiler in the bedroom, and I didn't. And as I was watching the little Pomsky, he's running around and stuff. He kind of went over. There's a, an old chair we have that my wife loves to death. And I don't know if it's just because it's old or if there actually is a scent on it from a dog that I can't get off with steam cleaning and enzyme removers and all that kind of stuff or what it is. But if a dog's going to pee in my house, 99% of the time during a meet and greet, it's going to be on that chair nice part is where the chair sits over in the room I can see it where I sit and I saw him hit and sniff and stuff and kind of went because he was going to his leg so I gave him a little bit of a hollering at to get him to knock it off when kind of picked him up brought him over and he's small enough wasn't too hard to do and then I was like well let's take you outside since you've now clearly smelt other dogs on the problem on the premises let's take you out back let you pee around a little bit and kind of have fun with that whole thing so picked him up headed out grabbed the leash also because they say he's an escape artist so I thought well I'll keep the leash on there and I went to open the door and realized the Rottweiler was out in the backyard. I'm like, oh shit. So I went ahead and brought the Rottweiler inside. And then I was like, no big deal. So I was like, the Rottweiler came in. The husband came out with me with the dog, walking in the yard. We were talking a little bit and stuff and whatnot. And all the good fun that comes with it. And then I heard the dog hit the door, like, kind of like he was, because she's scratching. She wants to go out. She sees the dog. She wants to go play with the dog kind of thing, which is not a big deal, except I was like, no problem. So I was like, well, I better go check because the wife, the wife's still in there kind of thing and whatnot. So I went to open the door to check and I see my mom just inside the door holding onto the collar of the Rottweiler, trying to pull her away from the door and stuff and like saying something like, the fuck are you? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And this woman is looking at my mom like, what the hell is this lady doing? She can't control this dog. And this dog now is in this house and the dog is perfectly fine with people. But I was like, what the shit? My mom, who I thought was going to be in her bedroom because she's still virtually not talking to me. And what little talking we do do is super awkward and strange. And while I was waiting for them to get there, my mom come rolling through and um, as she's like, hey, whoever you're waiting for just must have just showed up. And I said, yep, they're here. So... I was like, whatever, that's all there is, because again, we're not, it's in that weird conversation where we're not really talking too much, so I'm not telling her about my meet and greets on crap, because she says she wants to just hide in her room all the time and not interact with the household and the family. So I go out to meet them, and I come back in, and so I'm talking to them, and my mom's still in the kitchen, because again, 
I didn't think like, go to your room. It seemed like a weird thing to yell at somebody when I have strangers in my house. So my mom just hanging out in the kitchen, which I thought, okay, hang out in the kitchen, whatever you gotta do, do this meet and greet. And then I come back in and she's now got to hold this dog who clearly could have just pulled her down because the dog doesn't really be led by its collar when you grab his collar. She doesn't enjoy that. So I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? So I get in there stuff and I'm like, knock it off. Oh, we got a rocket going up. Doubt you guys can see that, but right over there is a rocket going up. That's cool. But I went ahead and um, basically got the dog outside, put the little Pomeranian back down. So she was outside, now the male's inside of me. Talked to her for a while and stuff. My mom just kind of still hangs out in the kitchen, it's like really strangely kind of thing. So yeah, so I went ahead and I was just like, makes no sense. So finally got to talk to them, got the whole thing, got it booked for tomorrow for the um, stay. So got that booked out, got it finished on the Rover app and that whole thing was done. and. All the good fun with it. Um, they left. I brought the Rottweiler back in. And then my mom's like, oh, I just thought it was a drop-off. I didn't know it was a meet and greet. I went back to my room. And I'm like, well, if you weren't so strange with this whole concept and not talking to me in this household, then I would have been communicating with you. And this would not have been an issue because I would have told you, hey, I got a meet and greet coming up. Just like every time I've ever done this, I always text her like, hey, this date, this time, meet and greet, just so she has knowledge of it. Because during the meet and greets especially, I don't like to introduce more people than I have to. So just don't be involved in it and i thought even once you realize what it was because today excuse me i'm just heading back you know da -da 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 down the hall whatever it is kind of thing you could have just excuse yourself out or not said a word and stepped out into the laundry room out of the garage whatever you want to do and just whatever but no instead you're over there trying to pull a dog around which looks crazy as shit and the woman who looked really concerned and confused by what the hell is going on and then of course I, it was just super fucking so so annoying so annoying but it's that whole thing also if i bring it up to her all i do is nag about shit she's not gonna she don't want to talk to me and don't want to ask me questions blah, blah, blah. well then stop what you think is helping please don't hear that that's a rocket that's one of the things about living in florida that most of you guys don't experience too much actually it's just it's now out of sight there but you still see the smoke going up or it went up it's kind of cool so but yeah i'm not sure if you guys actually see or not Right there, right there. That was a rocket going up. Um, one of the things I don't do much, I do not really research that too often and check it out, but I need to see what's happening before it actually gets there. So, how you doing? So I went ahead and got that all finished away, thank goodness, and headed back outside, just deeply confused about what she thought was productive in that. I don't understand it, so. Yeah, it just adds more stress to my life. Just one of those things that is what it is. When you say you're not going to help me, then don't help me. Don't do anything. She goes, well, the woman was trying to open the door. She was trying to go outside. I said, fine, let her go outside. It wasn't a big deal. I had the dog on the leash. I had it all under control. If that wife had opened the door and let the Rottweiler out, I would not have cared one bit. I would have just picked the pommy up, and I would have basically headed back in. Perfectly fine. Would not have been an issue. Worst case scenario, I would have then put the uh, Rottweiler back into the master bedroom and it would have been all done and fine too. But wasn't given an opportunity because you tried to fix stuff that wasn't broken. So again, that happened. So went ahead, um, decided to have myself a cigar. Just out there and chilled out with the dog. We hung out a little bit and then they went ahead and finished the booking on their end. So the setup for tomorrow for daycare. And then from there we were able to get to just kind of chill out. Went and got my run in, got back, got my shower. And then my wife got home from work and we ended up having some leftover taco meat. That we, enough leftovers we got uh, some nacho cheese. And I did have tater tots again for my tater tot nachos. And she wanted hers on just regular chips. So she did chips like regular nachos. And I'm a much bigger fan of tater tots than she is. So that was my dinner. And then after another episode of Wentworth, I headed back outside and enjoyed another cigar because I smoke a lot of cigars. I like cigars. And enjoyed the evening. And then finally headed back in, watched an episode of Love on the Spectrum. And everything was good to go. So the other thing I did find out is the old dog that I was supposed to watch Monday that got canceled the daycare. He laid down for a nap and did not wake up. So it's one of those situations where I'm really glad I didn't have the dog. And it was, I never have come back a dead dog yet. And even though it would have been absolutely not my fault at all and no way concern, still would have sucked to have made that phone call of, hey, your dog's dead. And it's in my arms right now kind of thing so 
definitely uh, felt good for him for the fact that he went able to go peacefully. He wasn't really in pain. He just he wasn't great in health as of late. So we knew he was on, we knew he was on short borrowed time, but didn't know how borrowed that time was. So that was brought up a lot of memories about my dog again, kind of thing. So spent a lot of time just randomly crying, thinking about the loss of my great dame and all that come with that as well. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.